I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. He had a dream, all right, and part of that dream was to get all of America's poor, of all races and creeds, to form a single political force. But some think that dream threatened too many people, and some think those people conspired to kill Dr. King. We think Ray is being used as a patsy, that he really never killed Martin Luther King Jr. The power structure ordered the assassination and used Ray. Ray pleaded guilty to the murder. Williams says it's because he was advised an innocent plea would land him in the electric chair. Now Ray's wife wants him paroled. What Williams is after is a new trial for Ray. He says that's the only way all the facts will come out. Williams was there when the shooting occurred, and he says there are just too many unanswered questions. The bullet was fired, and it struck Dr. King right at the right-hand side of below his right nostril. Had not he moved, that bullet would have struck Martin Luther King Jr. right between the eyes. Where did Ray ever learn to shoot a gun like that? That was a total one-shot expert that assassinated Dr. King. I think Ray is being used as a pets, as a decoy. And I think we must do everything we can the rest of our lives to find out who was the true murderer of Martin Luther King Jr. Gary Reeves, Action News.